Next, I wanna talk a little bit more about short-term rentals, specifically on Hilton Head Island, and additionally, what to look for and how to really identify the best short-term rentals that are gonna give you the best returns. So we're standing out here on the beach on Hilton Head. Um, Hilton Head is a great place to look for short-term rentals because we have 12 miles of beach, we have 250 shops, 300 restaurants, 23 golf courses, we have over 3 million visitors per year, and those 3 million visitors give us over a billion dollars annually for our local economy and economic impact. Now, when we're looking at short-term rentals on Hilton Head, it's important to understand that not everywhere on Hilton Head allows short-term rentals. Where do they allow them specifically? Let's talk about it. Sea Pines, Forest Beach, Shipyard, Palmetto Dunes, and then the Folly Field, Singleton, Burks Beach area. It's really works from south to north, closer to the beach as possible, um, is where you're gonna be able to see those places where you can rent short term. Now, more specific after you kind of get down the areas, again, Sea Pines, Forest Beach, Shipyard, Palmetto Dunes, Folly Field. What do you wanna look for after you kind of identify that area? There's a few things. First and foremost, the number one most important thing is the proximity to the beach. Everybody coming to Hilton Head is coming to Hilton Head to come to the beach. So the closer you are, the better you're gonna do. Next is a previous rental history. So in South Carolina, you have to honor 90 days of future rentals after you purchase a property to protect the vacationers. And it's important to look at that because you wanna take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes you have owner use in there. Sometimes they're not running it out high enough, but you wanna understand what it's previously been renting for and also what is its potential when you do maximize them. Other things that are important are having a pool. If you're looking for a condo, you're gonna have a pool in the condo complex. Community, what's around it? Are there shops, are there restaurants? What are the finishes like inside? And um, ultimately, is there a value add opportunity? Because what you see is a lot of properties that need work selling at a discount, properties that are updated being sold at a premium. So um, if you're looking for short-term rentals on Hilton Head, those are the areas to look. And those are a few things to look for specifically with a short-term rental. A few other things to note about short-term rentals. I get the question a lot of the security. Are short-term rentals gonna go away? You see that in some other markets. The beautiful thing about Hilton Head generating over a billion dollars from tourism is that the way we are set up in areas that can have short-term rentals versus areas that cannot have short-term rentals will forever be that. It is a staple in our community and it is very secure. It's not going anywhere. Something else that's really cool to note is we have a new airport runway on the island, which now allows commercial jet travel to 15 different locations. And it just really opens up a gate for additional tourism, additional vacationers, and ultimately more people running your property, more money going in your pocket.